Capricorn, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of September 12th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Okay, so you can expect a lot of intensity in the love life and a new emotional path. You are only unhappy if you allow those negative thoughts to creep in. I will remind you of that. Relax and take some downtime. Expect some new opportunities. It's about taking your power back and an Aries may or may not resonate with you. Now, if you are separated or from someone or something, I want to remind you that it is temporary. First card up, we have the Queen of Swords. Maybe dealing with someone with a sharp tongue, someone who may get a little catty with you. Also, a Virgo may or may not resonate here. You have that Death card energy coming under that, you know, we're under retro. So, Death card energy, yeah, that new emotional path is going to be emotional. This is endings and closures and reverse and new beginnings. This one door closes, one door opens, it all goes down at one time. And beside that, you have judgment. Now, Capricorn, you're guilty of this. Do not pass judgment on someone too quickly, because if you do, you're going to be wrong. With that, I have the Two of Pentacles. You guys may be juggling a little bit financially, but it does show your ship is coming in, and those days are almost over. And in the center of the reading, we have the Happiness card. Total happiness, total contentment. This also shows some love arrows that are flying around. And beside that, we have the Eight of Cups. There is someone or something that no longer serves a purpose. This is something you are walking away from or closing the door on. Next to that, I have the Page of Pentacles. You may very well be dealing with another Capricorn energy, particularly in regards to finances, money, or a business opportunity. And we have... Ooh, Eight of Pentacles. This is money in addition to. This is money in addition to your regular pay. Um, this could be the sale of an item, anything like that. Uh, second, maybe a second job or a side hustle, but it's money in addition to. And with that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. You can expect good luck and abundance. That wheel is finally turning your way. This is also the card of partnership, which could be either in your love life or in your professional life. So let's get further with these messages for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, first card up. We have the King of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, this is someone that is going to come in and offer you some sound advice. And beside that, we have justice. Justice is in your favor. Justice is being restored. Uh, this could have to do with your finances. could have to do with a court date. But it's definitely going in your favor and something you can put behind you. On judgment, we have the Queen of Pentacles coming in with financial stability. Also, an Aquarius may or may not resonate. On the Two of Pentacles, we have the Empress card, the Mother card, positive changes on the home front. For some of you, it could be news of a pregnancy. In the center of the reading, we have the King of Swords. King of Swords, there's a power couple here. Uh, King of Swords may be someone that is grounded and centered. Someone's offering you um, some much needed advice. This could be someone that wears a uniform or an official type person. And on that Eight of Cups, we have the Four Swords. Get the rest that you need while you can. You are under the calm before the storm. You have the Nine of Cups, Total Wish Fulfillment. This is Total Happiness, as well as Total Contentment. And we have the Eight of Wands, you know. And the Eight of Wands is happiness, contentment, and love airs flying around again. There's only what I call two happy cards and a deck of 78. You've got them both, the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. And on that Wheel of Fortune is the card of self-imposed restrictions. So, remind yourself, Capricorn, as you progress through the week, no one will hold yourself back but yourself, okay? Center of the reading bonus, we have that Ace of Swords. New beginning is in communication. It's how you communicate with others, how others communicate with you. But it's also you are the one that's reaching out to someone that you haven't heard from in a long time. And it's going to go very well. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, JackieJohnlin.com if you're seeking personal readings. You guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you soon.